Hey guys, so we're back in my bathroom again because I have a really, really good hair hack to share with you guys. Some of you might already be doing this, maybe not the exact same steps as me, but if you're not doing this already, I truly feel like you need to know how to. I'm just hanging out in my PJs right now. I didn't want to get dressed or anything because I was watching American Idol and <laughs> I was crying, I was eating ice cream. like. I was just having one of those days today. Not the day to dress up, but my hair was looking a mess. If you guys are trying this out for the first time, let me know how it went. If you have like a different routine, but you do something kind of similar, let me know down in the comments. I want to know because I love trying out new stuff too. And you guys are now ready to see the hack. So please give a thumbs up if you end up liking this video and you find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my hair before. Um, I haven't washed it in about four days-ish, give or take. So you guys can see all of the oil that has built up mostly in the roots here. I have done some dry shampoo, like yesterday I did a little bit of Batiste. I know I, 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 know I need to wash my hair, but I don't want to take it to that level of actually washing the whole thing. I just want to get out of the house and go. You know, I got errands to run. I got things to do. I don't want to spend forever on my hair. So this is what I do. Um, first, let me just zoom in on this greasy mess here so I can prove to you guys that it needs to be washed. <laughs> okay, that's disgusting. This is the magic potion right here. It is my favorite of all time, my favorite shampoo right now. It's the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo from OGX, which I believe is called Organics. I don't know. <laughs> it says it's sulfate free, which is really good if you have hair extensions. Huge bottle, so it lasts forever. You can get it at the drugstore, so it's relatively affordable. And it kind of like, because it's made with argan oil, it'll naturally lighten your hair and make the highlights that you maybe have had in it before come back and I really like that. Just like a random thing I wanted to throw in there. All right, let's get started. Separate out the hair that I know I'm going to be washing in the sink, which is basically this whole top part. And I know where to section it out because you guys can see I have my little clip-ins right here. Um, so if you don't have you know extensions like me and you have beautiful, nice, amazing hair, I would say to go right about like eyebrow level and just pull that amount of hair up to wash. Take a scrunchie, grab the rest of this hair like that, and put it in a bun so that it's out of the way because we don't want to get this wet. Now I'm just going to dunk my hair in. You want to make sure your sink is clean before you do this. <laughs> And you want to make sure you get the back and the front, the sides, like literally everything. So then I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to squeeze the excess out. And then I'm going to take a decent amount of this shampoo here, rub it between my hands, and I'm going to start working it mostly in the roots. The reason why your hair is so oily is because the oils are coming out of your scalp into your hair. So the majority of that greasiness is coming from the roots. So you really want to focus on the shampoo there and then afterwards whatever is left you can rub it through the ends. So I'm just slowly rinsing this out, working my fingers through the roots so I can uh, make sure that there's no soap left over and then turn the water all the way to cold and just give it a really nice rinse. And what this will do is close the cuticles and it'll make your hair really, really shiny actually. And then take your towel and do your best to try and get all the water out. It just makes it go by a lot faster if you try and soak up as much water as possible into the towel and then go and blow dry your hair. So first up, what we're gonna do is not use any product. And the reason why is because I find personally that for me, my hair gets a lot more oily when I put product in it. It also weighs it down, so I lose a lot of that volume. Um, and I want my hair to last as long as it can before I have to wash it again. So I don't do any product. However, if you guys 
are not cool with that and you are afraid of you know, damaging your hair with heat, then definitely I would recommend like a spray. I really like the one from Tresemme. I don't know if they still have that, but that's a good one from the drugstore. The one that I use though um, is the Kenra blow dry spray and I'll also link that below as well for you guys. But I really only use that on my ends, like the extension hair. Never really on this top part, but just wanted to recommend those to you guys if you are interested. So what I'm doing right now is blow drying my hair and basically finger combing while applying heat to it so that we can get it as dry as possible, maybe like 80% dry before I start going in with the round brush and then blow dry the whole thing out nice and smooth, really slowly. Um, another tip for you guys is to hold the blow dryer actually angled downwards and what that's gonna do is force all those tiny little hairs that are sticking out to lay flat so that way your hair looks a lot more smooth and less frizzy. You guys can probably tell I have naturally curly hair, so for me, that's definitely something that I have found has been really helpful in keeping my hair straight for longer. So get all of that wetness out of your hair. Don't miss a single spot, because <laughs> it'll, it'll bite you in the butt later in the day. For the back, I do like to start brushing it forwards as I'm blow drying it like up and over my head because I find that when I put it back it gives it a nice little bump a nice little lift without me having to tease it then I go through without the brush just my hands to feel for any wet spots to make sure that you know it's completely dry and then I'll switch the blow dryer over to the coldest setting and I'll also hold on to this little like snowflake button here to make it as cold as possible so that once again I can close those cuticles with the cold air and it'll bring all the shine back. This is where it comes in the tangle teaser. You're just going to brush through your extensions. Your extensions are going to look like crap every time you wake up if you're wearing them because what happens is they clump together. Um, and also since I have naturally curly hair, all the hair around my neck kind of starts curling throughout the night if I happen to like sweat because I forgot to turn my fan on and I'm covered in all my blankets. <laughs> so all of that combined just kind of makes the hair not look as good as it could. And all it takes is a simple brushing out to make it look good. All right, oh, forgot to turn on my straightener. Definitely do that while you are blow drying your hair. If you guys saw the video how I like to trim and cut my hair, I'll link it up above if you haven't seen it yet, but if you have, then you've already seen this technique where I like to run the brush through my hair first and then the straightener after just to get it as straight as possible. If you guys are interested in these hair extensions that I am wearing, they are in the shade Mocha Brown. And I believe they're around either 20 or 22 inches in length. And I do have a coupon code LXK to save some money. I'm not sure how much money it saves you, but it's definitely worth uh, putting in a checkout. How's it looking, guys? Are we doing good? How are you guys doing, by the way? Isn't this quarantine thing crazy? I mean, I'm like always home. So to me, it's like not too much different. It's just when I go out, you know, everybody's wearing masks and honestly, there's just not many people on the streets. It's just empty. It's weird. I hope you guys are all staying safe and, and healthy. All right, so we got the hair nice and straightened. Now this bottom matches the top. Get my parting down. I do it a little bit off center, like that. But yeah, you guys can see it's all oil free now, perfectly clean, and it takes barely any time at all. Much less time than to do the whole head. <laughs> so this is how my hair looks after I've curled it, and I just filmed a tutorial on that and put it on my Instagram. So if you guys would like to check it out, please go follow me over there on my Instagram. Make sure to like this video, and yeah.
this is what I do guys, that's my routine. It works every single time, it takes me no time at all, and it's literally the easiest thing to do. So <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.